the brands that do great things have great ambition and they're not afraid that they fall short, right? So I think having ambition is important. Uh, second, uh, having courage to fail. And I think in this day and age, it's not about whether you should fail. I think you should accept that you will fail. You just need to fail really fast and learn really fast. The internal company dynamics are interesting. I mean, first and foremost, you need a degree of alignment. Nearly 70% of people who work inside companies do not advocate the brands that they work for, and that in itself is quite a scary statistic. So I think onboarding internal teams is like absolutely critical, and in the old world was something that was often ignored by marketers. Our focus really is internal, and it's really based on the simple premise that if you create engaged colleagues, they're likely to create engaged customers, and if you create engaged customers, they're likely to spend more time with you and buy more products from you. It all starts internally. That's why we measure how we're doing on colleague engagement, and, and actually what we're really looking for um, it's, in, it's within one of our values. It's, are we getting the best out of people? Can they show up as their whole selves and do the absolute best they can? When I was hired, when I went to meet the CEO, um, he wanted to meet me before he was going off to New Zealand for his annual break um, to say congratulations and welcome. Um, I remember saying to him, look, I, you, know, you should understand that um, this dog comes with fleas, I think is what I said. You know, I, I am who I am, I get over emotional sometimes. I'm, probably not the easiest person to manage and deal with uh, on a bad day, but on a good day, uh, I'm hopefully worth having around. And actually, what he then said is, look, don't worry, we've checked you out every which way, and we want you for who you are and what you do. And actually, that was a moment that was incredibly important to me, because that enabled me to turn up to do what I like doing. And actually, I think I've then been able to transmit that to other people, because it's wonderful to watch what people can deliver if you give them the space to deliver it. Culture is really, really important. I think getting people aligned behind a kind of reason for being at the company is a really important thing. I think it's what a lot of millennials and Gen Z, whatever you want to call them, uh, young people are looking for now in terms of the companies they work for. They want to know a company's reason for existing in the world. And I think if you can articulate that well and make sure that's manifest across everything that you do, then that's the best place to start. And that goes for whether you're a client or whether you're an agency. Not everything is successful. So my boss has given each one of us this big eraser, pink colored one, which we keep on our desk and it says, four big mistakes, right? So there is this whole trust that we would be, you know, working on the cutting edge and not everything will be successful, always, not all projects. So we are allowed to make mistakes, so that's trust. So with this combination, we are able to then take bold decisions which would actually help drive the whole customer relevance and customer centricity story. Right? And that requires the ability to be able to innovate, collaborate, have that trust and be able to then deliver that value.